Good morning. Alright, so I was debating doing a chill session today, but upon looking at my overall stream schedule, and uh, also making a stream schedule, um, I decided to do one more day of failing forward. So let's get warmed up and see what shenanigans we can get up to.
Not too bad. Literally for a first song of the day. Yeah, we'll take it. Hey, Chris, how goes it? Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Thursday. But yeah, how goes it? Appreciate you tuning in, saying hi once again. Congrats on breaking through on uh, DJ Max last night. The uh, like unexpected burst of progress are always the best, especially when it's like, how am I passing this? How am I reading this? What What's going on? Who am I? So... <laughs> Also, just waking up, me too! I've been awake for, I want to say, no more than a half hour. Like, I woke up uh, about an hour ago, but I kind of half napped, half stayed awake. So, yeah, we're here. But, like, in all seriousness, especially when you're learning a new music game, really consistently playing it, even if it's just, like, a half hour like every other day, it lets your brain map this on-screen thing is this physical thing here, and then you're able to have so much more energy because instead of doing all that manual juggling of like, oh, it's this note, I press this finger, you're just reacting to it. Since it's taking you less energy to do that, that's more energy that can be then spent towards parsing more difficult patterns or uh, really honing in on accuracy for like offbeat sections. And it just enables you to get up and running so much quicker. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if over the next week or two you had a couple other kind of minor breakthroughs like that if, uh, if you keep with it. Um, but, you know, time will tell. Ah, such a good song. Like, I don't mind all of the electro that Soda Fujimori has been composing recently, as that's you know kind of his mainstay. But the brief period that he was like dabbling into disco and funk with uh, uh, with you and uh, Kind Lady, just mwah, absolute legends. Uh, definitely feels more like I'm reacting and less like I'm doing. There's a um, 
So PBS uh, funded a couple of YouTube series for a while. Uh, unfortunately, they're I believe they're all no longer in production, but one of them was called Game Show. And it was a discussion, well, you know, about video games. Uh, however, they have an episode that if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. And it talks about the idea of can bullet hell shoot 'em ups be a meditative exercise? I'm gonna quickly grab the link and I'll toss it in chat. So, I don't want to steal all of the video's thunder, but think about this. You're walking down a crowded sidewalk in New York. Do you individually think, okay, this person's coming up on my left, let me move out of this way, and then I've got this person on the right, and then I've got the two people right... No, you just walk through the crowd. You just do. But how? You do it without doing it. You just react and it's a mixture of the way that our brain works and also the concept of um way Wu of doing nothing literally and while the video talks about how that relates to bullet hell and that you're not looking at every single thing coming at you on screen you're just reacting and doing it um I think the same idea applies a lot to music games in that you don't see eight notes on screen and you're individually pushing a button for each one. You see, oh, these three are in sequence. I know that's a triplet and you do it. And then you further and further expand your reaction window, if you will, to larger and larger groups. Um, and there actually is a lot of crossover with high level music gameplay and shoot 'em ups. A lot of shoot 'em up players will dabble in music game and vice versa, and I think it's for the same reason. But uh, definitely give the video a, a watch at some point, just because, again, the way they go about the discussion is actually quite good. And I think it raises a lot of really great thinking points for both high-end music gameplay and when you're just starting out and what helps you get starting out. Also, Siyamaki, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Appreciate you being here. All right. Um, now, yesterday we did get some new songs in Infinitas, and one of them is this, which lots of people quickly noticed is actually off sync. It's a little bit on the late side. So I'm gonna see if I can tidy that up today. But, um, yeah, uh, not just that one episode, but, like, a lot of game show is actually really fantastic. It's really well written, good ideas, actually good, like, re uh, comment engagement in terms of, like, you know, leave your thoughts in the comment. And then following up on them, a lot of good stuff. And, uh, yeah, see you, Maki. Appreciate you stopping by. If, uh, if you're still getting your lurk on, feel free. But if, uh, if you ever have any questions about the game or if there's any requests or challenges, feel free to, uh, you know, make that happen. Why is this chart late and why does it have to have trills? Ugh. Because the problem with that is that as soon as I'm late on one and I accidentally get a mash pour registering for the next one, it's going to be mash pours all the way down and uh, EX bar doesn't tolerate that. I also want this EX clear just so that way I can have it done.
you know what? Maybe we should move on from that for now. Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> hey, Burkant, how goes it? Happy Thursday. Yeah, one more effort. One more. One more, then we move on. Yep, never mind. To heck with that. Yeah, at least I can do, Chris. I mean, both you and BitTK are trying to stream more regularly, trying to not necessarily grow your audience, but you want to take streaming more seriously. And I know that affiliate gives you access to tools that can make that easier. And you both stated you want affiliate. So yeah, let's make it happen. So let's continue warming up and let's not let Star Dream get the better of us. Let's just walk away from it like it's a high school bully because, oh, it doesn't actually bother me. Not, not in the slightest. Ugh. Stuff. Fairly close to our PB, too. Happily take that. Yeah, like, not every song is gonna be, or not every playthrough is gonna be a PB, as long as I'm within, like, 5 to 10%, leaning towards 5 of what my PB is, then I'm happy with it, and that's well within, so. Good stuff. And, you know, managed to bump it up to an EX. Always nice. And I do see we've got a couple more folks starting to tune in, as always. Happy Thursday, fantastic to have you here. You know, whether you're in chat or getting your lurk on. Appreciate you making me a part of your day and hope you're having an awesome Thursday so far. 
do one more eight and move on. Oh, did I have this in my rivals? And then just not unlock it? Let's fix that. Done. Ooh. I might not be able to hard clear this or uh, ex this. But let's give it a shot and then move on. Shame on me. We can get that. I just need to be a little less careless. Oh, we got there. We will happily take that, because old chart jank is jank. Hey, Dot Face! Good morning, how goes it? If I remember correctly, you're up uh, a little earlier than normal. Hoping all is well. Either way, appreciate you stopping by, saying hi.
Yeah, psyching yourself out is a le is a legit thing. Yeah, I'm reminded of uh, the uh, bullet hell example we were talking about earlier. Like, usually I'm doing the best in a bullet hell when I'm just completely not paying attention. And as soon as I start realizing, oh, hey, th that's a lot of stuff heading towards me or oh, I need to dodge this. It's the split second that happened. That's when I run into something. Um, so I think. The good news is, is that you can definitely overcome it with practice. So like the more you get used to, oh, yeah, I'm nailing this tricky pattern or I'm doing this this thing like the more you get used to that the or the more that you do that the less of a rare thing it will be which will then lessen the chance of it you know surprising you or rising to a level of a notice that it then like you know consumes your um consumes what you're able to see and what you're able to do as opposed to just being you know kind of in the peripheral We fumbled that double A. Shame on me. Hey, Spy. Happy Thursday. And, uh, yeah. It's what the description says. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to run that back. Because I really do feel like we can get the double A on that. Let's let's play one other nine, and then we'll give that a shot with EX, and then you know, pass or fail, we'll move on.
Yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> uh, I do want to give that one more shot, though. Just, uh, yeah, after fumbling that opening, that, that wasn't happening. Also, Spy! I do see that. So we'll take care of that after this. Sham on me. Because we can get that. I just need to not be quite as uh, lazy, I think is the word. But yeah, there's a couple of uh, sub rhythms in that that I'm not attacking uh, as strongly as I should. So let's bump that down to hard. So, Spy. Um, you matter. I know that oftentimes there's a lot of forces in this world that can say or that can make you think that you don't or that what you're contributing isn't going to be meaningful. I mean, I know that there's, you know, the idea of nihilism and that, you know, nothing matters, but you do. And the world is a better place because of you. I know for me personally... I've had a lot of really great interactions with you and having you show up in my stream, give advice on songs, you know, talk, uh, you know, trash talk about certain charts and artists and all that together. It's definitely been an incredibly positive thing for me. And it's been great to find someone else that, you know, is, you know, on the, you know, doubles train as much as, as I've been. So in these times where things are especially, Especially negative, where it's really easy to get caught up in the new cycle of, you know, everything is on fire. And it's easy to give in to that part of your brain that wisp likes to whisper, hey, wh why bother? Or like, you know, you don't matter. You do. Thank you for being here.
There we go. Yeah, we can definitely bump that up to a to an EX. Just need a little practice. Aw, oh, thank you, Spy. Yeah, um, as much as I can well wish, uh, yeah, well DPA is, uh, is a thing. <laughs> but no, more than welcome. All right, so it's 20 of the hour. Um, I want to take my first stretch break at like quarter past, and I want to try to get to 11s by then. Let's give Bridal Festival one shot on EX, and then we'll uh, move to 10s. Uh, DBM, uh, double, uh, battle mode? There we go, much better. But um, yeah, Spire, are you talking about doing a, a double uh, battles mode? Cause, uh, why? <laughs> Because, like, I could do that, but... Why? <laughs>
Why not? I mean... Like, right now, I'm hoping to warm up and get into 11s, and then, you know, keep on working on 11s. Uh, if it wasn't for that, like, yeah, sure. Because I've done double battle mode before. It's fun. It's also really silly, but... <laughs> Yeah, shame on me. Hey, we got the A, though. Yeah, I need to replay that at some point, because I'm confident I can boost that to a double A. Plus, there's a couple of, um... Not the, uh, the turn patterns that I was having trouble with. Like, on right side, it was, uh, 67642. Um... Like, that was giving me a little bit of trouble, mainly on my left hand, but there was some other stuff that was just throwing me for a loop for some reason. So we might have to loop back to that. It's really not that bad, it's just that you don't see that as common, and it just it catches me off guard. But I actually think the execution on it isn't, isn't all that bad, it's just knowing it's there. <laughs> So you think um, doing sixes or sevens on um, on double battle is essentially like doing elevens? Yeah, I, I can see that. On um, like, I'll be honest. Like, I'm not against it. I just there's lots of eleven and eleven point twos that I haven't played yet. Once I've gone through everything, uh, maybe. Uh, but, you know, until I'm done, you know, attacking no plays, essentially, eh, I'll wait.
So I'm hoping to bump that up to an A, and uh, yeah, we're not getting it with that opening. Oof, that was uh, not the best. Let's try that once more. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it reminds me of uh, like uh, turning on random to practice. It's when you've run out of stuff. But uh, I have not yet run out, so we'll wait on that. We go that's what we were looking for That marked for highlights later. Oh, hey! Got a request for Chris. Yo, can do. Let me just get what I'm doing next queued up. So, Chris, we've known each other eh, a number of years. So, I think you know when I say that both of us have had a lot of difficulties with anxiety and at times self acceptance, albeit in different ways. It's definitely a struggle. Um, and I know that, especially over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of really fantastic growth and progress on your part and seeing you better settle in to an understanding of yourself that is more empowering for you has been fantastic to see. And like I was mentioning earlier, right now in these times, it's very easy to let those voices in your head that say that, you know, you don't matter or you don't deserve this or you know, maybe maybe you're not really sure about this. And all, the, all those kind of little minor self-doubts, like they're, they can be a lot harder to reality check or to dispel. So I'm more than happy to take a moment to remind you that you matter, you are valid, and the world is a better place 
because you are here and because of what you're doing. I, for one, I'm extremely grateful that I'm able to say that we're friends. I think you're an incredible individual and you're sheer, just sheer, like I was, we were chatting last night, enthusiasm that you have, the zealous drive that you have both for getting work accomplished, but also for trying to do what's right. Uh, Cause oftentimes uh, when I've seen you take a stand against things that are wrong. You do so in a way that it's not just like, you know, we've got a room full of people and you're the one person, you know, standing up and saying, no, that, no, this, this sucks. We're not going to take this. And there's silence because no one disagrees, but rather you stand and make your statement and several other people will then also stand up and say, yeah, I agree. The ability you have to not only to fight for the things that matter, but to also rally people for the cause is incredible. And I am incredibly grateful to, to have you in my company. quite get the PB. We had it, but fumbled it. But at the same time, no, I'm happy with that run. I think there's a lot of good stuff in that chart for me to cut my teeth on. No regrets. Thank you for the reminder. More than welcome. It's one of the reasons why I've got that uh, as a uh, as a uh, Hexa reward, because I think it's something not a lot of folks do on stream, and when I say that I try to stream with a focus on positivity, I mean it. <laughs> Speaking of the stream, see we've got a couple more people tuning in. Happy to have you here. You know, whether you uh, are getting your lurk on or saying hi in chat or anything in between. Thank you for making me a part of your day. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Thursday so far. Uh, right now it's just about 9 o'clock. We're just about to hit the hour. So we'll be taking our first stretch break in about 15 minutes. Uh, let's do one more 10 and then bump up to 11s. Let's grab a 10 that I have trouble with.
we might be able to upgrade this. Let's give it a shot. We got a PB. I forgot that the ending was just that kind of abrupt. Also, ugh, 80 to 380 fast slow? It's a little weird. I haven't felt like my accuracy is super off, but I also haven't been paying super attention to the fast slow. Hmm. Let's. I want to make sure I'm still warming up, but I do kind of want a sanity check, so let's do a 10 that we're a little more on the nose for timing. Okay, let's go. Sure, why not? Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think I remember uh, hearing you mention that uh, yesterday uh, that you did like a, a plus, yeah, plus 0.7, which is a heck of a bump.
hoping to do a little better, but eh. Fairly even fast slow. But what's weird is like, previously it was like, what, 30, no, it was 80 to 380, and this is almost a 50-50 split. A little weird. Yeah, I really don't think Infinitas is bad. I think a lot of people forget that it's running on some random hard drive, random processor, random video card, and random RAM. And it still gets the timing as consistently as it does. Like, I, yeah, Infinitas ain't perfect, but I don't think it's as bad as some folks chalk it up to be, that's for sure. Okay. Onwards. And upwards. I'm um, gonna quickly adjust the fan, one sec. Yeah, like, once in a while I'll need to make some major changes to my offset, but usually that's also when there's been, like, a bunch of, like, graphics card driver updates or a large Windows update or something similar that would, you know, naturally disrupt the environment. Uh, typically, I don't really have to make any adjustments at all, or if I do, it's usually just by either plus or minus 0.1, so, I mean, that's perfectly acceptable to me. ひらりはらりと乱れまい。今宵咲きます。一輪の花。聞いてください。ただだだだだだだだ。飛び越す線ロックして変貌怪しい闇で宇宙に出ちゃうぞ。Shame on me, I could not lock into that to save my life. That was, that was kind of awful. <laughs> Alright, let's try something else first, and then we'll come back to that. Yeah, I just could not lock into that. I was like always a 16th note behind for some reason. Sounds like I was hitting slow, which was the game was showing. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, I just mentally, I couldn't keep up. I could tell that my pat, I was, for some reason, I got mixed up with, you know, just reading the chart. And then in trying to play catch up, I could never actually properly get caught back up. I just, you know, kind of like, you know, mentally tripped over my own feet. So, <sighs>
got there. We'll happily take that. sure what happened but my left arm hurts a little bit not sure if I overextended on something on that because it wasn't super intense uh, let's see it is yeah. All right. let's do one or two more and then we'll take our first stretch break let's uh, redoing data -da on hard bar is tempting but I know that's likely not gonna be a good idea so let's Go after something else. Um. Yeah. Trying to bump this up to an A should be good. Alright. Hey, Mira! Happy Thursday! Thank you so much for the raid! Hey, Tuwali! Gospel? Kawachi? How goes it? So I was just about to play one more song and then take my first stretch break, but since all of you wonderful folks have just shown up, let's do two more and then take a break, because so that won't be delaying things by too much. But yeah, how's everybody doing today? And uh, Mita, how did your session go? I know when I, uh, I ducked by to say hello earlier, you mentioned you were doing some uh, practice and trying out a new green number. How did that work out? Uh, Kawachi, you just got back from traveling? Yeah, I hope you had fun. And Siyamaki, hello. Yeah, I know that uh, you uh, followed earlier, getting your lurk on. Appreciate you saying hi in chat. Gospel, he had a great session, lots of PBs. Fantastic to hear. Uh, gotta get used to it, seems to work. Fantastic, that's, that's really great. I'm super happy to hear that for you, Mira. Honestly, that's really wonderful. Yeah, so far uh, here, um, we're doing okay. I was gonna have today be a chill stream, but I'm like, eh, as part of me uh, also trying to come up with a more permanent stream schedule, uh, I'm gonna do uh, more 11s today. So, and so far so good. We're just starting to crack into the 11s. And, yeah. So let's give... Yeah, so we're just about due for the stretch break, so let's do... Let's try to push Laser Cruster up to an A, and then we'll give Da 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 Hard Bar one more try, and then that'll take us to uh, our first break. And uh, Kawachi, definitely give that a shot. Uh, we'll do that after the stretch breaks. I really want to try Laser Cruster and running back uh, Da 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 first. But yeah, I haven't played the uh, another for Snow and ages, so, yeah, why not? Okay! And once again, Mira, thank you so much for the raid, and uh, everybody that's uh, coming in from the raid and saying hi, again, thank you. Appreciate you being here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Thursday so far.
Excellent. Yeah, the fail I don't even mind as much because I've gotten that before, but oof, barely crossed that finish line for the A. Great stuff. As one of my satellites. Okay. So, it's 20 past the hour. Um, let's give this one more shot. And then we'll take our first stretch break. That, that would be a decent emo to be a, a heck of an in-joke. But, like, that's kind of the point, right? ひらりはらりと乱れまい。今宵咲きます。一輪の花。聞いてください。ダダダダダダダダダ。飛び交う線ロックして変貌怪しい闇で打ち抜いた衝動。その顔 Oh, my right arm almost gave out just because I really uh, I over controlled on the uh, the jacks, but we got there. Oh. Alright, thank you for the kudos. Also, always happy to see people spamming uh, that song in chat. And yeah, Mita, really, really happy that you're able to continue playing and streaming. Like, because I know that's a big deal for you, and especially given that you've recently restarted your Bimani career and then suddenly have it, like, you know, thrown in jeopardy. Like, it must have been terrifying. So I'm really happy to know that things are going to be all right. All right, and with that, it is time to take a stretch break. So, maybe it's been a while since you stood up, walked around, grabbed some water. Uh, either way, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, then, when I come back, we're going to play some more 2DX. See all of you wonderful folks in 180 seconds.
All right, and we're back. So, um, I know we've got a request in for uh, snow. Uh, before we jump into that, I do want to do a quick timing check because I feel a little weird. Yeah. Especially um, with um, the past two songs that I played. So, what's our offset? That should be fine. Let's just do uh, opening measures of uh, Reflux, and then we'll uh, go back to 11s. I thought so. So, I've been having, uh, so some of the times where I've had slows, it's because I think things are a little fast, and then because I'm trying to over overcompensate, it, it's backfiring. Oh crap. So, all right, with that, let's jump back into the 11s. So, I'm looking for snow. Yeah, snow's a 10. Snow is uh, not an 11. I, th I thought that was the case. Yeah, if there's a, a different 11 that you uh, that you want to uh, challenge Kawachi, just uh, go ahead and submit it. Meanwhile, um, and I don't think it's ever gotten re-rated either. Now I'm curious. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's always been a 10. Hey, Sparko, how goes it? Goes pretty well here. Already gotten uh, a couple of uh, nice uh, new lamps and PBs. Plus, uh, Mita just recently raided, and it sounds like uh, he had a very good session. And, uh, you know, the offset demons have been slain, which is fantastic. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Appreciate you tuning in, saying hi. So, uh, Kawachi, what's the, uh, the, uh, course K, uh, that you want me to play? Let's see, while we hear back on that, let's play something just to get back into the swing of things and make sure that that, uh, offset change we just made is okay. Oh, Six Sig! Yeah, you can do! I figured with the uh, raid from Meta and Sparko just tuning in, plus uh, trying to make sure that that uh, blue number change is uh, accurate, let's do uh, some Afro Knuckle. But yeah, then uh, after this we'll, uh, we'll jump into Six Sig. Yeah, I, I think it was just yesterday that I, I first played it. It was uh, a little bit easier than I was expecting. But I was looking at it earlier, uh, and I noticed like a, I think 106 miscount, so I'm pretty sure we can improve on it.
not bad. I was hoping to have at least gotten the A, but still, that's pretty good. Let's see. Alright, so 180, 187 would be 10%, and yeah, we were just within that, so huh, that's alright. Yeah, Chris is a uh, longtime friend of mine. We, I want to say we met, what was it, 2014? But, yeah, recently uh, Chris has started uh, both just streaming in general, but also uh, taking the plunge on uh, music games and uh, trying out uh, DJ Max, and so far, so fantastic. So. And, uh, yeah, with... Um, I was uh, chatting with Chris about this last night. Like, I I do not really have a poker face when it comes to uh, when I'm playing songs and how I think I'm doing. Because, yeah, like, if stuff is going well, like, you'll see me bopping left and right. Sometimes even, like, going completely vertical. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if part of the reason my accuracy was so garbage is because I just have too much fun while I'm playing 2DX, but eh, that's a problem I'm happy to have. And uh, yeah, Gospel, the humidity is awful here. I've already had to open the window and get the, the fans blasting, and usually I don't have to do that until like, you know, the, the two and a half hour mark. Okay, uh, Six Sig. Honestly, with that many misses, I'm surprised it squeaked out an A. So, yeah, let's see if we can lower our miss count. Much obliged, Kawachi, for the challenge. dances on every music game he plays. Speaking of dancing, I'm now remembering uh, pl when I used to play uh, Dance Maniacs. That, that game was so much fun. I miss it. Uh. Alright, six, six. So you see, like, a high B like that? Like, that's what I expected for the miscount? Also, that opening was awful. Like, granted, it was really difficult, and the it's got an easy ending, but I did not do great on that. I want to run that back later. Let's do that in, like, two more songs. 
and then we'll uh, give that another shot. So I'm gonna quickly toss that in before I forget about it. Alright. And catching up on chat, games about accuracy, while combo oriented mode. Eh, I can see that. I mean, like, worst case, I mean, you just play on not hard bar and you're gonna be able to play through the whole song. Uh, hey, Arbo! Happy Thursday, how goes it? Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, how's your week going? And, uh, Lado Copy? Appreciate you saying hi. Best of luck with, uh, fighting with After Effects and all of, uh, that. Ugh. so much, Mita, for the gift sub! Very much appreciated, thank you! And, uh, I know there's, uh, a couple of somewhat new people in chat, uh, if you don't know, uh, Arbel, legend at Poppin' Music, so if you are interested in that game in any capacity, uh, please give them a follow. To Wally, Adobe is a four-letter word. Oh man, is that ever true? <laughs> so, uh, lad, I was just mentioning um, if you are a fan of pop music, check out uh, Arbel Knox. But uh, also, as you've uh, seen uh, Nightbot mentioning once in a while, uh, both a good friend of mine, uh, Chris, and then uh, also one of my wonderful uh, rivals, uh, Bit Decay, uh, are both. Trying to make that a uh, hustle for affiliate. Ooh, Arbel, you just got Infinitas. Ooh, that'll be exciting. All right, so let's see. Let's do a trickier eleven. And then something a little bit easier, because then at that point we'll loop back to Sig Sig, and I want to have some stamina for for that opening, because it is a uh, it hits the ground running. And uh, again, Mira, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Um, thinking of something tricky. I think this is a point four. Let's triple check. If it is, I'll give this a run and see if I can't upgrade it at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's a 10.7. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at point twos and point fours. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Really? That's a point four? Huh, I always thought that was point two. Yeah, let's give this a run. See if we can't lower our miscount or increase our score. And then we'll uh, see how our arms are doing and then take it from there. Uh, Probably shooting the pop of Minicon. Good. Watching. Yeah, take care and be safe, Kwachi. Best of luck, uh, editing.
Definitely not a PB improvement, and I doubt we got our miscount, but, ugh. Let's see. Oh, hey, Chris and Bergant, thank you so much for the host! Very much appreciated. And so... Uh, no new score, no lower miscount, but still. Decent run, and definitely worth the practice and exercise. No regrets. Uh, arms are... A little on fire. Let's... It's not too bad, though. I just want to, again, to six he hits the ground running. Um... Oh! Did I get... I did not! Let's give the hard clear on this a shot. And then at that point, we should be okay for six six. Yeah. Yeah, changing to seaside doesn't sound too bad, Sparko. <laughs> yeah, I, um... Yesterday, I, um... When I first played it, I only had, like, I think a 40 miscount. Uh, so I immediately ran it back and, um, got the hard clear. And I, uh, got a PB on top of it. Um, the highlight should be up on Twitch and YouTube. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, all of my highlights are finally up to date. And live on, uh, Twitch and YouTube. So, uh, hopefully moving forward, uh, everything will always be up to date. The, uh, full versions of the streams are delayed, but, um, any, like, new lamps or high scores that, uh, that I want to highlight, uh, should be going up same day. So... I didn't think the ending was too bad, but then again, I'm weird. All right, let's go for this lamp.
Oh, we almost had that. That would have been the comeback of the century. I'm not gonna lie, like, one of the reasons I do my highlights, um, is because yeah. it's relatively easy. Like, for both Twitch and YouTube, I have, uh, a bunch of stuff pre-typed out that does all of the appropriate tagging, description, links, etc. And, like, for me to cut a highlight takes about, like, one minute. While it's rendering, I prep all the text descriptions, it renders, and then when I toss it on YouTube, um, I also have some similar copy pastes, uh, both for text and for how I do my thumbnails. That also only takes about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. As long as I keep up with it, it's it's really not that bad. But if I let like two or three days go, and then I have to like you know video edit like you know twenty of them back to back, it's kind of a nightmare. All right, let's let's retry this. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'm gonna do better on this, but I want to replay it because that opening is just brutal, and you know today is all about practice and getting better. Ooh, spy requesting steel needle. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Also, I can't believe I missed that. I just saw the request, but I missed it when it was in chat from like, gosh, 10 minutes ago. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, there's a new 11.8 uh, request. And it has a disclaimer of don't overuse it. I'm trusting you, chat. Minus one. Oh, we will take that. Oh, hello. So, let's catch up on chat. First, hey, Zoe. 
Thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciated. Hey, Dr. Twix Mix! How goes it? Hey! Hold on. P. Tika Kiwi. I've, s I've seen that name before. I just. I always stumble over it. And hey, it's your pie. How goes it? Thank you so much for the raid! Yeah, very much appreciate it, Zello. Have a good night. Appreciate the raid. Hope you sleep well. And, uh, yeah, everyone coming in from the raid. Hello! I've seen a, uh, a couple of these names before, uh, from, uh, other streams, but I'm not sure if I've seen all of you folks here. So, appreciate you tagging along for the raid. Angel Who, how goes it? Give me a moment just to catch up with all of that. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, as Angel Who was saying, uh, you know, d Doubles looks, uh, kind of silly. Yeah, well, I, uh, I am one of those silly people that plays Doubles. Um, in fact, it's all I do. I do not play singles. Uh, but yeah, um, today we are working on, uh, trying to pass new charts. So I've been, uh, bouncing back and forth between, uh, easier 11s and, uh, harder 11s. Um, there's a, if you type, uh, if someone, uh, wouldn't mind, uh, tossing it into chat, uh, exclamation rank, uh, there's a fan-run website that does, uh, sub-ratings for all of the songs. I mean, that's not uncommon in 2DX, but, uh, that site in particular is kind of the, uh, main resource, uh, for doubles, uh, specifically. So, what I've been doing is I've been trying to, uh, I can do 11.0s and 11.2s, but I... I'm trying to break more into a uh, point four and point sixes, so fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, just catching up on chat and taking note of all these wonderful notifications, follows, and raids, and all that jazz. Just a couple more seconds of uh, digital housekeeping. Appreciate the patience. And again, uh, Jeff High, Angel Hool, thank you so much for the follows. But yeah, hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday. And with that, we should be caught up. There we go. Okay. And once again, if I do miss anyone, because I always try extremely hard to say uh, thank you to anyone that uh, says hi in chat, because, you know, folks get their lurk on, so be it. But um, if anyone says hi in chat, I always try to say thank you at the end. And uh, a lot of folks and keeping track of it. I've got a decent system, but uh, I definitely need to improve it. But that's a, a delightful problem I have. <laughs> also, Poker Rizzuto. Hello. And funny that you make the Ava joke, because I actually didn't choose this nickname. It actually uh, was given to me by uh, some friends. I didn't find out until years later I got named after uh, the whiniest protagonist in anime history. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dr. Twix Mix, yeah, digital housekeeping. It's uh, something I like to say for, you know, doing behind the scenes work and all that because, you know, it just fits. But uh, yes, this is uh, doubles. Okay, so uh, we just managed to improve Sig Sig. Uh, Spy's request is challenging me with Steel Needle, which is an 11.8. That is going to absolutely destroy me. And my arms are still a little tired from Sig Sig, so we're going to do something a hair easier. And then we're going to fling ourselves at Steel Needle. It's going to be a, a disaster, and uh, I am very excited. I say, let's do something easy, and I immediately look at the 11.4s. Let's take a breather with a 10 for funsies. Why not? Hey, Poco Rosetto, thank you so much for the follow. And, uh, Maze, uh, what song? So I honestly don't recognize that.
Also, Maze, uh, appreciate you saying hi. I'd have, uh, I know I've seen you in uh, Spy's uh, stream chat, but I don't think I've seen you in mine before. Appreciate you tuning in and saying hi. that song. Super fun. Let's catch up on chat because, oh, there is a lot of it. Mothership. Uh, yeah, I'm also not sure what song. Oh, it's a uh, U-Beat and Voltex? Okay. Hey, Bit Decay! How goes it? Appreciate you tuning in, saying hi. And I know that um, Nightbot has been mentioning it from time to time, but now is a fantastic time to repeat it. So Bit Decay is uh, one of my rivals in doubles. They're an amazing singles player, but they're also uh, trying to uh, make that hustle to affiliate, as is a, a friend of mine, uh, Mix Chris. So if you're looking for either an amazing 2DX uh, singles and doubles player, or uh, want to watch someone who's just getting into DJ Max and is chilling it so far, uh, please give them a follow if uh, you'd be so kind. But yeah, Bit Decay, how goes it? This morning's off to a strong start. We've gotten some uh, nice lamps and improvements. And now, Spy is the first person to request an 11.8. So, yeah, we're about to get destroyed by this. It's going to be fun. Oh, I'm not clear in this, uh, Poka. So, um, the, so there's, uh, on the SNJ, there's, uh, ratings for all the, uh, different charts. Uh, so all of the 11s are either 11.0 to 12.0. Uh, this is an 11.8. I'm around 11.2s and 0.4s. This is going to be way above my, uh, what I can do. But at the same time, that's the point of uh, the practice session today. Uh, some days I just play literally whatever. I take any song requests and just have fun. You know, it's kind of like going to the gym and just having an off day. Uh, today is the day where we go for heavier weights. So, fingers crossed. I mean, worst case, like honestly, Poka, 
I don't mind if I don't pass it because I'm playing harder charts and that in and of itself is going to help me get better. So like, I'm not pessimistic that I'm not going to pass it. If anything, I'm optimistic because it's going to force me to do stuff I normally don't do and it's going to help me improve. I mean, and that's also the point of today. Like I'm going to do a lot of failing before the stream's over and that's the point. <laughs> But yeah, knowing that today is a fail forward day also helps with the, you know, not passing stuff over and over. But that's how you get better. <laughs> Spy saying, if I clear it, I'll drop 10 subs. Well, good news, your money's safe. So. Well, we managed to get the B, which honestly, that's my goal. Whenever I'm doing new charts that are way above me, if I can at least manage a B, that's that's a heavy success in my book. And wow, that chart was a trip. Oh, good stuff though. And uh, Poka saying that he's so positive. Honestly, like I take that as a very heavy compliment uh one of the big focuses i have and something that i put a lot of deliberate effort into is to be as positive and encouraging as i can be because music games are hard enough as is so you know any force i can be to both either help people be in a better mood or to stay motivated to keep practicing and to keep pushing and get better that's the least i can do and Spy! <laughs> Thank you so much for the gift sub. Very much appreciated. And Mina, also. Again, also today. Thank you so much, both of you. Very much appreciated. Just catching up on chat. Yeah, it's... And the scary thing is... Um, Poka saying that uh, that looked too hard. The scary thing is... That's an 11 as is a lot of other charts that I don't just have cleared, I have hard cleared. They're technically the same difficulty. <laughs> so uh, honestly, at the in 2DX, at the higher levels, like you really do need those um, sub ratings, even though they're fan done, to really help try and figure out what might be good new charts to, to tackle. I mean, anything higher than seven is technically mastery because, you know, Previously, the game only went up to seven, and clearing sevens and eights gets you extra stage in, in arcades. Like, that's considered you're good at the game. So all of this is just mastery for mastery's sake. So yeah, we're, we're gonna see some shenanigans. 
let's see, catching up on chat. <laughs> no problem, thanks for saving you nine subs worth of money. <laughs> so, about that. So right now you'll notice uh, for my rivals, I have uh, Dot Phase and uh, Bit Decay. I also have Cat. I used to have Spy on my rivals. But then my rival folder was full of nothing but Spy absolutely crushing it on 11s and 12s. So since um, uh, Dot and uh, Bit Decay and I are actually trading challenges, I wanted to get some challenges from them and not just have nothing but EX and full combo 11s from Spy. <laughs> Uh, out of curiosity, spy, steel needle. Uh, I'm get. Do you have that uh, cleared yet? Ooh. And that's enough chatter. Let's keep playing. Uh, let's do something a little on the easier side, just because the yeah, arms are on fire. Um. Let's give this one more shot. Why not? Oh! With uh, all of the chat activity, I missed this. Uh, Mita was asking for an 11 or an 11.2 of my choice. Um, I think Solid State is a point two. It is! So, yeah. Let's dig in. If I can get past literally that measure, after that, I have consistently FC'd the rest of the song. I just need to get past that crunch point. Uh, someday soon. Uh, also, just before I forget to mention, so it's a uh, quarter past the hour right now, and I typically do a stretch break about once an hour. Uh, the last one we took was at 20 past. Uh, had a little bit of downtime because of uh, the raid and all of you wonderful folks showing up, so let's do our net stretch break at 40 past, so 25 minutes from now. Um, and just quickly catching up on chat. You have your 11 folder hard cleared. Holy heck, Spy. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Double aid the another yesterday. Fantastic, Boca. Good stuff. Uh, do I play standing up or sitting down? Uh, I'm standing. Um, before I started streaming, um, I actually played uh, primarily on machine. Um, either there was a, an arcade called Tokyo Game Action or 
Um, I played at uh, private locations. Uh, I owned a machine for a while, and then you know a friend of mine. Um, and in, in those scenarios, um, if the machine had the base shaker, uh, I would sit on a stool because of the the height was all right. But if the base shaker was missing, it was um, enough of a height difference that I could play standing. Uh, for my stream setup here, um, I play standing. Uh, there is a photo on my Twitch page that shows uh, the overall setup. Um, and I'll be honest, prior to uh, streaming, like I rarely played standing. I almost always played sitting, but luckily it's been a, a fairly easy transition. Oh, that's right! Yeah, I know one of your blockers for getting the uh, the hard clear for the folder was uh, real. Then that means uh, that you finally got it. Good stuff, Spy. All right. So let's see what to play next. Uh, arms are still a little on fire. Let's go for an 11 or an 11.2. Ah, eh, who am I kidding? Let's quit talking and start mixing. That was, not gonna lie, that was just a hair awful. Ugh. Yeah, and the, uh, the opening, I just lost track of where I was and I just couldn't resync with the chart. And then, uh, about two thirds of the way in, my left arm kind of gave out. That was awful. So, need a little bit more of a breather, and I'm honestly surprised. I thought that uh, Steel Needle didn't take that much out of me. So let's take it a little easy, and then we'll uh, we'll jump back into it. Might have received an on the FM shirt. Ooh. Oh, that picture's fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Sparko, if you want to uh, toss me a link for, for that shirt, um, I actually wasn't aware of that. That'd be fantastic. Oh, and, uh, Mace, thank you so much for the follow. Alright, let's play something on the easy side, because I don't want to be idle too much. But yeah, we definitely still need to take a breather from harder stuff for just a hair longer. Um, 
And uh, maze. You know what? Yeah, that'll be good. We'll do uh, we'll do DPS. Then we'll do a uh, transport because that's also a really fun song. And then we'll jump back into Elevens. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. And Mira, time to head out to work. Thank you so much for the raid earlier, Mira, and also for all the support. And again, I can't stress enough. I'm so over the moon happy uh, that you were able to better figure out what was happening with your offset and that you're going to uh, continue streaming because this community is so much better with you in it. So I'm really glad that you're, uh, you're going to be able to continue streaming and you're going to keep on pushing. So I'm not sure if I'm tired or if it's just me being extra hype because, oh, all of the people showing up this morning. So, yeah, lots of fasts. Okay. Yeah, and that's typical of me when I get uh, extra excited. So, a couple deep breaths. We'll play Transport, and then we'll see how we're feeling and get back into the 11s. And uh, I usually say this more frequently, but uh, all the excitement is... Uh, Made me forget. Thank you. A lot of folks are tuned in this morning, not just uh, from the raid, but just in general. And also, whether you're active in chat or getting your lurk on, either way, thank you for being here and making me a part of your day. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Thursday. Right, so we've got just about 15 minutes before we take our next uh, stretch break. So after this, we should hopefully have stamina back and we can try uh, some 11.4s. Fingers crossed. Yeah. 
have barely missed the double. Uh, given everything that's uh, happened this morning, yeah, we'll happily take that. That's good stuff. And I'm glad to have the fast slow more under control. Just catching up on chat a bit. <laughs> Yeah, true to his name. Yeah, I, uh, try to label myself appropriately. <laughs> All right, so let me take a quick glance at rank. I'm going to take a look at 11.4. So we've got 13 minutes before we take our next stretch break. And I'd like to throw myself back in the fire for a little bit. Um... Really? That's a point four. I'm pretty sure I've played this already, but let's see what my result was. I'm looking at a mosaic. Now that I'm thinking about it, I know that's going to be super chord heavy. Let's keep that on deck, but let's do something else first, because that's likely going to really take me for a run. Um, oh, I know. Speaking of runs. So I've passed this previously, but I haven't been able to repass it since I started on Infinitas. And this shouldn't be too bad for stamina. I should be able to do this and then maybe one other song and then go after Mosaic. So happy to have that back on the books. Fantastic.
see, going to request... Well, Quasar, not an Infinitas, oddly enough. Um, there's not a lot of Taku in Infinitas, mainly because of uh, licensing issues, which is a shame. Uh, it's kind of a relief, though, because uh, Taku on doubles is uh, always a nightmare. But I honestly, I wish we had more Taku. His, his music is just sublime. Uh, also, Quantum Teleportation, um, I don't think I have any challenges that you can redeem for 12s, so, uh... It's, uh, it's more licensing. Um, Taku, uh, Good Cool, Remocon, uh, because of, uh, issues with the, um, company that they're with and the copyrights, they're, uh, they're not an Infinitas. Like, there's, I think, two Taku songs in Infinitas right now? So... Uh, Genocide Hyper is a 12. So, if you're curious, uh, the list, that is a list of, um, what I have unlocked in Infinitas. But... It also mentions um, everything in Infinitas, so even if I don't have access to it, it's on that list. So if you're curious to if something is in Infinitas, like at all, uh, you can uh, take a look at that sheet. Yeah, no, genocide is I think seven, twelve, twelve. Yeah, 6 12 12. Uh, meanwhile, Gigadel at 10 12 12. So. Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, so we've got six minutes before we take our next stretch break. Before we jump into Mosaic. Oh, yeah, Doubles has some really fun stuff, Maze. Uh, Radical Faith on singles is 567. Uh, doubles, it is 61110. Uh, meanwhile, Era Nostal Mix uh, on Doubles is 51212. 12. Uh, Sonq is uh, 1012, no another. Uh, there, there's lots of fun stuff on Doubles.
Yeah, one of these days. Oh, Gobble. I mean, a lot of single players know about Gobble, but like, mm, no, no. If you really wanted to get into bad double starts, there's, there's far worse. Uh, Kakame comes to mind. All right, so. Oh God, I've heard whispers about that. The uh, one hand DP league. All right, so let's see if we can't bump up Mosaic. Yeah, and with Kakame, it's a shame because it's a really great song. But yeah, the the double charts, the the hyper and the another are just just awful. Um, we should be due for our stretch break after this. So depending on how I'm feeling and how this goes, either we'll take our stretch break right after this, or we'll do one more. And uh, for double battle, uh, I could. Like it is a thing I could do. Yeah, I could do double battle. Not not sure why I would do double battle right now, though. No, in all seriousness, like I'm not against it. It's just I still have 11s to play. Like once I've gone through everything, if I'm still not progressing, then yeah, I'll give it a shot. We almost had the A on that. God damn. And I was right about one thing. That annihilated me for stamina. So yeah, this is a good time for a stretch break. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh there are some other charts that are really bad for it's just singles on two hands. <laughs> that's actually honestly, that's not that bad. All right, so it is time for a stretch break. So maybe it's been a while since uh, you've taken uh, some time to stand up, walk around, grab some water. Uh, either way, that's what I'm gonna go do. Uh, then when I come back, we're gonna play some more doubles. Um, also, I should be, I'm looking to wrap up the stream in roughly an hour. Uh, so I wanna be done by half past the next hour. So we'll probably be doing like another like half hour of 11s and tough stuff and then we'll go into uh, victory lap mode and uh, wrap up the stream and all that good stuff. 
All right, see all of you wonderful folks in 180 seconds. Right, and we're back. Hey, Fake X. Happy Thursday. How goes it? All right. And uh, once again, thank you. A lot of folks tuned in today. And again, whether you're getting your work on, you're in chat, or anywhere in between, you shouldn't be in here. Everyone's having a wonderful day so far, or uh, evening, depending on your part of the globe. And we've got uh, a lot of folks tuning in from literally across the globe. It's going pretty good. Glad to hear. Also, Vanessa. I haven't played Vanessa in a while. That that would be that'd be pretty good. All right. So let's play something just to get back into the swing of things, and then yeah, we'll go after Vanessa. I'm. I'm confident that I can boost my score on it, because I know it's still, like, a uh, mediocre B, I think. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, we can improve that. Alright, so let's play something to get back into the swing of things. And then we'll uh, go after some deceptive GABA. Uh, let's see, what do we want to play to get re -sent? 
Thank you, Velia. Always fantastic to have a healer in chat. And uh, I see the 11.8. I am completely okay with it. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. Um. Yeah, that, uh, that wasn't happening. Ugh. Hey, best of luck with lunch, Bit Decay. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we kind of messed up that intro. Shame, because I know that if I can get through the jacks on that, we'll have that. Um, so we do have Vanessa on deck. Um, uh, I kind of want to play one more song before trying it, so... Do you have that challenge? Why do we go away? That that should nicely do the trick. And thank you as always for the challenges. And yeah, not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to Vanessa after this, because I'm feeling pretty confident. And I'm really curious to see what kind of a nightmare Sylvia Drive is, because I actually haven't played it yet. And I know that chart's a nightmare. Why did you go
Yeah, I'm completely okay that I fumbled the ending. I just didn't want to lose the A. And yeah, we held on to it. Good stuff. All right. Time for Vanessa. And this makes me a little sad just because I really like the overall style of this song and like some of the follow-up stuff we got from Yoshitaka, like the hard renaissance stuff is kind of like it, but not quite. <sighs> Wonderful boss song. All right, see if we can't bump it up a bit. Yeah, uh, Fake X, absolutely. Yeah, if there's if there are 12s that are downrated, go for it. Honestly, I haven't looked at them yet, only because I'm still like there's still a lot of 11s that I need to at least play, like that I just literally have no plays on, and I wanted to try to get a little bit better before going for them because uh, point eights are definitely out of my range, and point sixes are likely out of my range. So I wanted to get a little bit better before going after those, but yeah. I mean, that's how I'm going to get better. So, absolutely. Appreciate you double checking though before uh, tossing them in the queue. Yeah, I've heard Liberation is a, a little bit easier. I've heard that. And uh, Spy, I don't wanna say that I agree with you, but you're not wrong. I wouldn't have been surprised if that showed up either. <laughs> yeah, for um, for challenges, um, I did increase the costs just because I do want to try to stick with the point twos and point fours I've usually been focusing on and get through everything. Um, but also at the same time for uh, chill days where it's just free for all requests like those are still just 50 and those are always going to be like dirt cheap always it's just for the uh kind of training days if you will that i want it to be a little more restrictive and a little more selective I I cannot believe I missed that scratch. We and we are not playing Vanessa without the guitar whale. Uh uh. Actually a little upset about that. But we have been putting ourselves kinda through the ringer today, so eh. 
Okay. Yeah, let's not get hung up on it. Let's move on. Like, I understand it being at 11.0 because with the ending, like, if you've got those triplet rolls, like, they're really predictable. It's just being on time for them. You know, it's like having a whole bunch of uh, jack chords uh, at the end. Like, either you nail them and you have 100% bar and you don't. So. Alright. Um. Alright. Let's go for Sylvia Drive. Have we done the hyper? Honestly, I was expecting a lot worse. <laughs> I was expecting a lot worse shenanigans, but just looping that drum line over and over? Like, is it hard? Yes, but is it as bad as I was expecting? No. Although those uh, chromatics at the end on right side with turntable, that, that was cute. Oh. Yeah, we got the B, too, which is, you know, my goal when I'm going for hard stuff, so... Yeah, much obliged for the challenge. Uh, we also have Liberation. Let's play something a little easy, because I want to go into that with everything I've got. Um, let's see. I was gonna say, I've earned this. And I look down and I see after Liberation, we also have uh, Mint. Uh, uh, yeah, I have definitely earned this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Such a good song. Super fun chart, too. All right. Now for liberation. I wouldn't say Kivelli is being evil. It's like, today is a day to throw myself at 11s, fail, set my arms on fire, etc., and get better. Like, that's the point. Like, if we were, uh, if it was a chill day where we were just having fun and it was nothing but, hey, play all of these DJ Taka and others, eh, that'd be a different story. <laughs> hey, Akome, how goes it? Quickly triple checking one thing before we dive into liberation. Yeah, it's, like, honestly, it's the better mentality to have Cuvelia, like, and I also think the whole on-day, off-day thing, like, having a day where you're deliberately just playing whatever you feel like, like, indulging in easy songs and all that, and then having a day where, all right, let's go after no plays, let's go after fail lamps, etc., like, it helps so that when you're playing the easier, fun stuff, you don't feel guilty about not trying to push yourself, and you can just enjoy it, and then inversely, all of the back-to-back -back failure, or, oh, I can't understand these charts or whatnot, you're less likely to get discouraged because you know you're deliberately going after harder material. I think the two positively uh, feed into each other really well. And uh, Akome didn't have a good 2DX day today. Uh, went to uh, Voltex after all the fails. Uh, sorry to hear that 2DX didn't go well. Hope, uh, hope the uh, sound Voltex went okay, though. So I know that this is rated, I think it's what, 11.6? Um, and I've heard that it's an easier 12, but I actually haven't tried playing it uh, before. So this could be interesting. Also, Dexor, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a good day.
Uh, part of that was me not being able to read it, and part of that was uh, my arms are actually starting to give out a little. Ugh. Today has been an aggressive day. Uh, XR, hello and thanks. Yeah, more than welcome. Thank you for, for tuning in and saying hi. Oh, ball as well. Appreciate the follow. And, um, yeah, my knowledge of, like, 12s, like, I honestly haven't tried a whole lot just because I know that I'm still in the lower end of 11s. But, yeah, I think Kailu is easier than that. <sighs> I'm glad to have given that a shot, though. That's... I can see why that's rated lower, but, yeah, it's still... I think that should be a 12. It's just easier. <laughs> Yeah, that actually that wasn't really all that close, Fake X. But the um especially the opening, like I just could not lock into the pattern at all. Which honestly is a good thing. Cause it forced me to stop, reevaluate, and then I was a lot better uh when it came around for a second time towards the ending. So I've got that immediate positive feedback and Yeah, honestly I'm glad I played that. Much obliged for the uh, challenge, uh Kidalia and Fake X. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Chris. All right, so um, I do want to wrap up soon. So I know we've got a challenge for Mint, and also my arms are very much on fire. So we'll play one breather song. Uh, we'll go after Mint, and then I might do one more 11 or something silly, and then um, we'll go into uh, Victory Lap. Whew. Oh, hey! Lesson five. I don't know if I've ever played this chart. Like, obviously, I haven't played it in Infinitas, but back when I was on uh, Penduel, I don't know if I've ever played it. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried, because Happy Sky, so I'm expecting a little bit of jank, but who knows? Let's dig in. Not gonna lie, that chart really scared me. 
because the first like eight measures were just an absolute blitz and I was kind of worried it was going to be like that for the rest of the chart but thankfully it calmed down and yeah I think if I tried that um, next time when I've got more stamina I could probably hustle enough to push through the ending Yeah, storm before the calm. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yeah. I also really like that song. I, honestly, I keep forgetting about it, but it's kind of my fault for getting a bit more established in, like, Distorted and uh, Troopers. Because I know a lot of folks that, like, you know, for uh, Red and Happy Sky, if that was their heydays, that Lesson 5 is like an anthem for them. I don't blame them. It's good stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, hopefully, take care of something before I forget. There we go. Okay, so uh, we've got one more challenge. Uh, that's for Mint, which is uh, a point eight. I think I think it's going to be best if we just jump into it right now, and then uh, go into victory lap mode. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. All right. Oh, this is going to be an adventure. I'm uh, I'm actually a little nervous about this. I thought it was uh, I thought it was an eleven that was actually an eleven, but uh, ooh, if it's a downrated twelve, yeah, this is going to uh, likely destroy me. Luckily, it's last song before victory lap, so it doesn't matter uh, if uh, my arm muscles are on fire. <laughs> hey, Okida, how goes it? Reworking the uh, Ongeki uh, controller build. Nice. Best of luck with that. One second, just uh, an issue with some uh, digital housekeeping. Sorry, one moment. There we go. All right, let's do this.
honestly, I was expecting a lot worse. That, like, was that rough? Yes. As bad as it could have been? No. Whew. It's fine. I'm glad I don't need to play this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I can get behind that vibe. That's a, that's a rough chart. Honestly, the, like, I was expecting all the, uh, the different, uh, trills that it had. I was expecting more of that in Liberation than I, I was in Mint. So that was a bit surprising. Huh. And, uh, yeah, that good old Slake sound. Like, yeah, I know Slake is polarizing, but I actually really like that song. It's not something that immediately comes to mind for me when I think of favorite things by Slake, but I like it quite a bit. Okay, so with that, it's time to wrap up the stream, so let's go into victory lap mode. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just jump right to, uh, to wrapping up, because I am probably a lot more tired than I realize. Ooh, it's been a heck of a day, though, no complaints. A lot of good progress, a lot of good new lamps, and a lot of folks in chat. Like, even before uh, we had that uh, massive raid from Zello and uh, the uh, earlier raid from Mita, a lot of you folks were tuned in and already like saying hi or cheering me on and also cheering each other on, and that's... Honestly, I'm incredibly grateful for that, so thank you. Uh, also, Amazing Mirage, 11.6. Saving that for... Uh, Saving that for some time in the near future. If it wasn't, um, if it wasn't for Steel and Needle, honestly, I might have tried it today, but then my stamina kind of got shot, and I, I really want to try to give uh, Amazing Mirage a, a full effort. Eleven point eight. I could have sworn it was point six. I'd believe it being point eight though, because I did play it once uh, a couple of years ago. Oh yeah, that that ended badly. Good chart. Always puts a smile on my face. Would have been expecting that role in Liberation? Yeah, I know, right? And uh, Chris, halfway to affiliate? Heck yeah! Good stuff. And uh, yeah, Dexor, uh, Amazing Mirage. 
one of my all-time favorite songs. Uh, possibly my absolute favorite from uh, Cinnabuzz as well. Just mwah, love it, love it, love it. Like out of um, and this is relatively speaking, uh, some of the newer artists uh, for 2DX, uh, Lapis, Usao, and uh, Sea Show. I adore uh, the work that they do, and just I'm all over this song. Absolutely love it to bits. Whew. All right. So it is time to wrap up the stream, and it has been a heck of a stream too. Again, just. A lot of great progress, a lot of good people here, hard to complain, but as always, before we actually wrap up and raid someone, because there's bound to be someone to raid, a final incandescence. Right, that is going to be it for today. Once again, thank you. Whether you've been uh, getting your lurk on, or you've got me on in the background for that 2DX radio, or you've been saying hi in chat, or anything in between, thank you for being here and making me a part of your day. Hope everyone's having an amazing Thursday, or almost Friday, depending on your part of the globe. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning uh, for more doubles shenanigans. Tomorrow is going to be a uh, chill and, uh, you know, requests encouraged uh, stream. Should be a lot of fun. But for right now, it's time to wrap up and look for someone to raid. And as I've had to say uh, a lot recently, oh boy, there have been a lot of you folks in chat. So if I do miss anyone in these uh, thank yous, please forgive me. I'm doing the best that I can. So right off the top, uh, we had uh, Mix Chris showing up. And again, as uh, Nightbot has been uh, reminding you all, uh, if you haven't already, please consider giving uh, Mix Chris and Bit Decay uh, a follow. Uh, Mix Chris is a friend of mine, and uh, they're just getting started in streaming and DJ Max. And meanwhile, Bit Decay is an amazing 2DX player, and I'm incredibly grateful to have them as a doubles rival. Uh, and they're both on that hustle for affiliate, so please check them out if you can. Uh, also, uh, right at the start, we had a uh, follow and a hello from Siyamaki. Fantastic to have had you today. Uh, Burkant, Dot Phase, Spy, you folks are, are regulars here. Fantastic to have uh, heard from you. It sounds like all of you are having a good day so far as well. Thank you, as always, for, uh, for the support. And then Mina, with the raid and the gift subs, thank you so much. I'm so happy that uh, you're able to keep streaming. I know that recently Offset Trouble uh, had things a little dicey, but I, I really am incredibly 
incredibly happy to hear that you're going to be able to keep streaming and you're choosing to do so. The community is better because of you. Uh, also, Tawali, uh, another fantastic source of positivity and a benefit to the community. Thank you for stopping by today. Uh, Gospel, Hawachi, uh, Sparko, Arbel, thank you all so much for being here today. Uh, also got to hear from Lad. Hope uh, work is going well. I know you were fighting with uh, After Effects earlier, I think. Um, also, Zello, thank you so much for stopping by. I keep meaning to check out more of your streams, and that raid was just huge. Thank you so much for that. Uh, also, Dr. Twixmix, fantastic to have seen you again. Love the work that you do. Uh, and coming in from that raid, we had a bunch of new people stopping by today. Uh, Japai, Angel Who, uh, Poker Rosetto, and Maze. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by the stream and following. Hope to uh, see you again sometime soon, either here or, uh, you know, in another uh, music stream. Because, yeah, a lot of these names are uh, not new, which is uh, always fun. And then uh, Bit Decay stopped by. Again, I'm incredibly grateful to have you as a rival because I know it's not even a matter of months, weeks. It's days until you just start 100% destroying me in uh, for scores. And it's really exciting to have that motivation to, to try and keep up. <laughs> Then uh, also FakeX and Cuvelia, fantastic to have had you both here. Um, also Okome and uh, Okina, glad to have heard from you. Hope the uh, work on the Ongeki controller is going well. And then uh, Dexor, stopping by for the first time and following. Thank you as well. All right, now let's triple check on who is live and who to raid. And also one last look at chat just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so yeah, fantastic to meet you as well. Oh, Kari Sweat, that's what it's, it's a, a romanization of. I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite place it at first. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm hearing whispers that Sparko is live, which would be a fantastic raid. I do want to triple check for folks that are streaming Bimani and more specifically try to see um, who has, honestly, uh, if anyone's streaming that has a, a lower view count, because I always try to, Help people out. Um, doesn't seem to be the case. So, let's all go say hi to Sparko. Uh, right now she's streaming uh, Truck Simulator, but fantastic 2DX streamer. Love the work that she did for uh, at uh, GDQ with all the fundraisers that she's done. So, let's all go give a beartastic welcome to Sparko. Until tomorrow, take care and be safe, everyone. Cheers.